So I mentioned yesterday on the broadcast about the book that I've written, Dreams and Visions and Stories of Faith. And in the book, I tell stories, stories of faith, stories that have happened to me, stories that uh, people have told me on the talk radio show that I do all these years, wonderful, incredible stories of faith. And then here in the book of Hebrews, chapter number 11, a writer gives us all kinds of people who walked in faith and saw God do incredible things. He talks about Noah, he talks about Abraham, he talks about many, many others. It talks about how that they stopped the mouth of lions. They subdued kingdoms. God did incredible things. Unfortunately, many times we, we assign those things to then and not now. But the truth is, the scripture says, he does not change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if he did miracles then, he can do miracles today. But the thing is, it's all about faith. And faith is that incredible thing that we look at. It's kind of hard to imagine anything that you could hold in your hands with it. But yet it's an ongoing walk to where you just believe that God is just there. And that he's present. And he's walking with you and he cares about you. I write in a book about a little incident that happened that is very, very insignificant in the grand scheme of life. I talk about a day back back in the, uh, must have been in the 70s, I guess, <laughs> where I'm downtown Pensacola driving an old 1964 Chevy Nova, locked my keys in my car. And I just said, God, can you help me with this? And it was just the most overwhelming feeling and sense God was just there, and he was present, and he even cared over whether or not I had locked my car and left the keys in it. He cared. And then next thing you know, I, I, I he's just, just kind of go for a little walk, and I see a, a shoestring lying there, and I see a popsicle stick lying there, and God just began to just imagine this in my mind. I, I took that piece of string, and I wrapped it around that popsicle stick and put a little loop on the other end, used that stick to pry that uh, string through the between the window and the frame of the car, got it down in there, got that loop over the, the little thing that uh, you, the lock that you pull up. Next thing I know, I'm back in my car again. But that was the beginning of something. Even though I had had faith, things happened in my life. This was just the reality that God walks with me. He walks with me. Every step I take, everywhere I go, no matter what I do, God's there. He's present. He's watching over me. And he will be there in uh, those times of need. I had a wonderful uh, man come and preach for us, Brother Charles Edwards from Atlanta, great open Bible preacher from our organization. He preached a sermon. He said, uh, I am what you need me to be in your time of need. And he talked about how that he didn't want to put a rose bush in the middle of the yard for his wife, even though she requested it. He said, no, I'm going to have to mow around that thing. But they ended up bringing some field dirt in. And there in that field dirt, there must have been a seed. Because right there in the middle of that yard, he said a beautiful rose bush came up. And he said this. This is the essence of his service. He says, I am what you need me to be in your time of need. And you see, that's faith, to believe that God is forever present in your life and in my life. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.